Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to carry on Zach Jungle consistently for Season 12 League of Legends. Currently, his best build is running Tank Zach. AP Zach is just still very inconsistent if they can dodge your E or if they can build Zhonyas. For your first item rush, you're going to be going for the buff Sunfire Aegis or the buff Frostfire Gauntlet. They both got slight stats, tweaks to make them a bit better for Season 12. Uh... If you're ahead, I'd recommend Sunfire Aegis. It scales better. If you're behind, I'd get Frostfire. It's 400 gold cheaper. Zach, you don't need a leash, so unless there's a specific reason that you want one, I don't get one. It's better for your teammates to get to lane on time. That way, the enemies don't know where you started. Zach is one of the slowest clearing meta junglers in all of League of Legends. That's his biggest weakness, is even if you do a full clear, you'll be finishing around 335 to 340. He's really bad at killing camps that have a lot of HP and not many monsters. So a lot of the times you want to solo start on wolves or raptors. That way you can clear the camp efficiently by yourself. If you do get a leash, you can start on any camp. If you get a leash, you're usually going to start on your buffs. Pull them together. If you do not want to pull camps together, that's fine. I would, in that case, I would recommend just getting a leash and clearing normally. Pulling camps is actually pretty easy. Just I gotta practice a little bit in training tool. Finish through camp clear crossing over at 2 minute 30. It's a little bit slower than an Evelyn would cross over. We're moving on to red buff and then Krugs next. On Zach, you usually want to avoid ganking till you are level 4 because your E level 1 doesn't have very much range. And there's very few bushes and plays you can actually take advantage of. We queued to get the extra Bloblet and to also CC the red buff there. That's why we queued the Krugs and smashed it up. Also makes it really easy to pull it into the bush. We'll be doing that once again. Top lane is not gankable. If it were, we could go for it at level three and then contest the gank and probably win two versus two. Zach in a two versus two is solid as long as you land your CC. He has a lot of it. And Tenacity doesn't help versus it. So even if they have Merc Treads, uh, it, it won't matter. It, all of Zach's CC is Displacement. So Merc Treads and QSS and Cleanse won't help them whatsoever versus your damage output. So with a fairly optimized clear, we finished at around 335. Scuttle spawns in 315. So it'll be getting into Scuttle 20 seconds late. Oftentimes you won't get a Scuttle if the enemy goes for it. Viego's either late or he's bot side right now. Otherwise, he should have been on this or should have ganked. It looks like he's just late. He might have tried to gank level one. I see we saw him with four CS. We'll break this. If I had my Q, I'd Q him and smash him into the ward. I'll act like I'm leaving, but I'm not. The wards get vision usually for a little bit after you break it. Got my E down. I don't have anything to queue him against. I could have queued the minions and tried to auto him, but I think he would have been outside of my range. If you do land your queue, it does increase your next auto attack range by a bit. But like I said, I don't think it would have been enough to actually get the kill there. Because I missed my E. These guys are really low. Might build make something happen. Oh, they seem to know I'm here. I'm going to flash red buff auto attack this guy. He's trying to dodge my Q. That's why he's juking so much. I literally missed the minion. I think I could have killed her too. Oh my God. I was going to Q the minion and then knock her against it. She was moving really slow. She, Seraphine has very bad base movement speed. That's unfortunate. We'll go ahead and reset. All the lanes have been very gankable. I'm going to go ahead and rush Lucidity Boots. If your lanes are highly gankable, you should definitely go. For Lucidity Boots Rush with a Dark Sail. Lucidity Boots will help get you around the map and it'll put your E on a much lower cooldown. It's a nice pair of boots to have on Zach. And since we went Tenacity in our secondary runes, even though we didn't get Merc Treads, we should still be fine in team fights. A lot of the times you want to just start up a full clear. The reason why I rushed straight out for Raptors is because I saw Fior was pushing topside and I wanted to gank it. I was going to stop by here real quick. You do want to max your E first on Zach Jungle. Playing Zach top or mid, you usually max your W first for damage output. Let's go top against the Fjord. It's gonna be annoying though. She can parry our E. And it's warded. Shoot. 
Looks like she may not have noticed. Knocked her against it, hit her in the midair with our E. I intentionally shot my E as short as possible. That way we would land before she came out of my QCC. That's why we barely even hit her with the E. I didn't want her to parry it and stun me and block it. Victor should not be roaming as I path towards mid. Should be in lane right now. Stand still to Q, got the knock up, hit him with RE into Q. W auto attack, we weren't able to secure it. We got both of uh, Zerath's sums though, so that's decent. We could go bot lane, I'll grab this real quick. I'll go bot and then I'll take Blue and Gromp at the same time. Once you are level four on Zac, your ganks are pretty much as good as they'll get until you have your ultimate. So if you have a delayed level six, don't worry. If you get a successful gank, try to soak minion XP and you'll be hitting a level six pre seven minute 30 like we're about to do. We have three points in E, so we can easily go over this. Got it. All my teammates landed their stuff off that. Got the kill. I want to stay and shove the wave since our wave's pushing to them anyways. I do not want to still last hits because that'll make my laner mad, but I, I need some of this XP. There we go. We got level six and we all got 80% of the total XP anyway, so we're not really cheating him out of much. All right, that's fine. I was just testing him. Now we know this Ezreal is going to consistently dodge our E with his E. Got to keep that in mind when we jump in. He can't be the only target we're looking for. Why is my Gromp gone? Did I take my Gromp while I was waiting? Oh, wait, this guy's over here. Oh, my goodness. Zach's R does speed him up. Freaking Viego, man. Yeah, team's dropping the soap here. No clue where that guy went. I got a reset. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was like, wait a minute. And sure enough, he took my Gromp. He took my blue. He's in the bush. And he gets away. We're tied in CS and we're up KP on him. So it's like it is what it is. Just annoying that that happened. We'll counter the Fiora and Viego pretty hard in team fights. Fiora's going to have to parry our R, R, I think, to live. She's going to have to dodge our E and our Q and parry our R because you can't. Uh, really escape Zakar because it's so many bounces and he gets a speed up. They get dragon off of that. Doesn't matter too much. It's hard to get early dragons on Zak because his single target damage is rather low. You're usually going to be getting dragons once you're ahead and when your teammates can assist you. Accidentally started up my E before I'd finished off the red buff. Could go come top here if yours pushing in a fat wave and I'm already here. Be a decent opportunity. Even though we delayed our uh, like Sunfire Aegis and everything and the bombies, our damage output isn't much lower since the Lucidities get putting our spells on a lower cooldown. She wasted her parry, land our E, knock her up, blue smiter. She's dead. She should not have parried like that. She was feeling pressure to dump the wave so Timo didn't freeze it on her, which he can do now. It's the only reason I didn't stay and push is I think he should actually freeze it here. Looks like he did want to push, so in hindsight, I should have pushed. Picked up the blobs, put our W on a lower cooldown. Oh, cool. This is warded. I can Q Viego against this. Got the knock up. I didn't R because it would have actually bounced him away. I was in a weird spot where I landed. My R would have just pushed him towards his turret like an Alistair headbutt. I didn't get it behind him like I wanted it. There, I got it. Blue smited and everything. We had our passive. We would have been fine if the turret had barely pinched us. It does focus your bloblets. <clears throat> I think we would have been fine because not all of our bloblets would have been in, within range. Yeah, we're on a ward right now. We're going to have to walk into them. Ideally hit them with a Q first before an E. That's unfortunate. Down goes Seraphine. 
I wanted to land Q first because if they're slowed, I land E for free. And if I E and they juke, then there's like no way I'm gonna be able to do anything since my E is also my gap closer. Our CS score is on the lower side. We have lots of ganks. We have 100% KP, two kills, three assists. Team only has five kills total, so that's 100%. Don't try to look at things in terms of kills. Just look at it in terms of KP. A lot of the times you're not gonna get the kills since you're playing the tank. There's many champions who are better at securing kills and pinching them off with abilities that do more damage to lower on health zone is. So that's a very easy gank. We need to keep ganking that. He has no way of consistently dodging our jump. He's not got, he has zero speed ups, zero um, blink stashes. The only way he can dodge our E is, is if he has flash or with hourglass. Got it. Bang him up against the turret. Blue smite him. And we're chilling. His flash is probably going to be up next time. I'd imagine. I know Vigo's top side, so I'm okay with using my E. It's my only way to escape. If he's not over here, it's unlikely his bot lane's gonna go. Ooh, he is over here. All right, I'm just gonna run. He has Conquer, even though it looked like I was winning that fight. There's actually a very good chance he can win it. Ooh. Oh, oh my God, I need a TP. I think I'm just dead here. Do you remember the part when I said the enemy bot lane collapsing? <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I saw Ezreal was like in lane. They got there so quick though. Viego got there quick too. I saw him all the way up here. He must have done a tight loop all the way back in. They really didn't want me getting his camps, that's for sure. Ever Shroud, not a huge fan of it on Zach. This isn't really meant for him. <laughs> Slows down his clears and uh takes away from his damage output, which he can get quite a bit of. We'll go for Frostfire. Frostfire is really good. It's inexpensive. Second item is very important on Zach. Nine out of 10 times, it's going to be your Thornmel to heal cut. Their team has Seraphine healing, Ezreal healing, Fiora, and Viego healing. They got a lot of self healers. Plus Seraphine, who can multi-heal allies, I believe. I know she's got a multi-shield. Pretty sure she's got a five-man heal as well. I've never really played her, but I played against her a lot. She's basically just a better version of Sona. She has hard CC pre-6 and Sona doesn't. Seraphine has more range. Sona's only better in the true late game where she can infinite five ability mana spam non-stop, no consequences. That's about it. I'm gonna hold on to my Q. I know Viego's nearby. I would like to smack these rats together. There we go. Still got my blue smite when she's out of my auto attack range. Diego's dead. This is easy dragon. Nice. I'll smite it. Someone should break that control word. Wow, there's a lot of control words here. Laying them this neutral like the enemies did, I think is bad. A lot of people check this bush, but they don't necessarily check the side bushes. If you're going to leave an idle control word in a neutral area, leave it a little off to the side because people don't find it and destroy it immediately. Waiting for Zerath. He's probably going to have Flash. Let's see if I can make something happen. I think I can. Enemy bot lane's kind of missing. Their support is. His red buff's down. His raptors were up. His chance he comes over here or at least goes to his golems and paths inward. Don't know where Zerath is. I guess I'll... Ooh. Ooh, wait, why is he, why is he playing so far back? That is bizarre. That should have been a free kill. Zerath hiding. They must know I'm in here. I must have been on a ward. There's no other good explanation, right? He just hid. Very scared. Looking at top side, Timo's chilling with shrooms. He has the upper hand on her. She's going to be playing safe. She has item disadvantage as well. I need to go bot. Victor gets a nice TP, TP play. Seraphine hit him with an exhaust. She sacrifices herself so Ezreal can get away. I'll go cover mid. 
Zerath's not there. He's not on Teemo either. Teemo almost made something happen. I wonder if Zerath's lagging if he's just scared of me ganking him again. Seems like he's just scared. As he indefinitely hides under turrets. So lame. Makes you wonder if you warded the raptor camp. That'd be so lame though. He's not even stepping up for the minions. What the heck? Put the fear of Zack in him. Oh, we can easy reach this. Mash her against the minions. I took my time with the Q, didn't want her to flash. If she did, I still had it and I wouldn't miss it. That's annoying. Well, they're gonna lose turret. I think Zerath's kind of throwing the game for them. Must be trying to surrender or something. Down goes Ezreal and I think they're gonna FF 15. We're running this game right now. I'm gonna knock against the turret. I don't even need to R. Oh, maybe I did need to R. <sighs> yeah, I should have R'd. I took way too much damage and my passive was up in like three seconds. Fior back for this moment. That's a huge gold swing for the enemies. They got a bunch of shutdowns out of that. It's not great. We were CC'd for 0.99 seconds. What a beautiful number. In the late game, Alan Zach, it's really your game to lose. The only tank jungler who can kind of match his scaling is Sejuani, and that's only if her team is melee heavy, because the, the way Sejuani's uh, stuns work, with having melee teammates, she can easily stun multiple enemies consistently in fights. Zach is arguably the S tier late late game tank jungler and Sejuani's high A tier for that. Ramus, honestly, his late game's kind of shit. Uh, since his whole shtick is, oh, look at me, I have armor, right? But AD carries can build Kraken Slayer, which does true damage, so even if Ramus is pimped out, rolling, and trolling, they can still shred him. Any AD carry who can build a Kraken, which is like all of them except for Ezreal. Ezreal and Jin don't usually go for that because they're casters. Even MF, I've seen her go Kraken with very good results, high win rates. If you are shoving in the bot lane, I'm gonna go fight her on that. Looks like she backed off immediately. The enemies are making this game slow. They're very scared of me popping out. Okay, she's back. She's back in there. Question is, can I save the turret in time? And the answer is yes. She could low key solo me now, now that the turret's gone. Maybe go for Seraphine or Zerath. Focus on the ones we can land E on. I gotta get out of that. That's not good. My team's not fighting for this Lux. Lux Lux's backing, I guess we're just given. Is what it is. We'll go for turret. I'm out of there. Really hard to chase Zach. You have to have an instant, instantaneous hard CC that stops his E, like a Soraka E. That can be challenging. Yeah, they're trying to pinch me on Baron here. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're literally trying to pinch me. Why is Victor doing that? That is bizarre. Some people. Yours going in, Timo. Where is your blind art? All right, you're blue smited. You're gonna die. Nice try, Seraphine. Interesting jukes. In the end, it wasn't enough. Yeah, we can't do this. Ow. It's 
damage is all connecting on me. I need to heal off of something. I'm gonna arm. I could have potentially queued him first. Oh man. I don't know why Victor's still in camps. Give him a lot of help mid. Some people, no matter how much help you give them, they're just gonna keep on taking. There's nothing you can do about it. When it, it's it's pointless. Even if a teammate steals a buff from you, like inting at that point is pointless. It just doesn't do anything. You just deal with those type of people. It's like the people who leave their carts out at Walmart. They just leave it out. They don't put it in the little return cart thing. So they leave it there, and then, and then it gets windy, and it blows into someone's car. <clears throat> It's all about accountability, right? It's a cool thing about all these with that quarter. Like no one actually cares about a quarter, but it's just that that monkey brain instinct thing about not wasting money. I've never seen a car out in the open at all these. I'd imagine because even if someone did do that, which I can't imagine, then they lose their quarter, right? Even if someone did that, if someone went to shop there, they would just grab that cart and use that instead, I believe. But at Walmart, there's no value on the carts because they're free to use and people people on the fence when they see people mistreating or misusing carts they can kind of buy into that concept you know <clears throat> anyways put your carts away time to teach Ezreal a lesson <clears throat> never mind it's warded See if we can find another ward. This guy's a rat. I'm gonna use my blue smite. You can blue smite people in midair and it makes it easier to lay in your E because it slows them. But uh, I would rather risk missing my E than give this rat victor a camp. <clears throat> Scuttle belongs to me. Jeez, this is annoying. Down goes most of them. I don't think he actually wants to turn into Jin there. Being turning into Jin's a mistake. You get really useless stuff when you're playing as him. Ooh, that was actually a good Victor Flash. Bonk! Tank turret. He tries to stun me out, finish the kill. Still have passive. You're splitting the bot lane right now. I can't back in time to get stop it from getting that turret. My E was up, I'd take those minions. Guess I'm recalling to stop Fiora here. I'll keep stacking uh, armor. Armor is the way to go this game. They're mostly AD. It's only Seraphine, Zerath, or AP. And if they focus their damage on me, it's not going to be worth it for them. Much rather get Randuins for the slow. Luck stating got picked. That sucks. We need to play for this dragon. Really need to play for this dragon. I'm gonna have to smite this. I don't want him to hit the turret for free. Having outer turrets up or having turrets up in general is really important on Zach, since he can jump over walls and defend them like a fiddlesticks are. You really need to keep your turrets healthy. If my E was up soon enough after doing blue, I would have came here and juiced him. Got the knockup. Trying to walk with her into the dragon. Ooh, we got the dragon. Got the knockup on Fiora. That fight was not good for the enemies. He's, yeah, sure enough, he jumps away. The Ezreal outplay, nuts. Yeah, I'm not going to chase that. Even if I land it, it's not going to be easy. Plus, the rest alive. Might as well get camps while we wait. If you are very fed in the early game, I would recommend Sunfire Aegis instead of Frostfire. It overall scales better. This game, I wasn't getting that much gold in terms of kills or CS to where getting Frostfire, since it's 400 gold cheaper, just made more sense. They're both strong items. Jeez, man. Really sharing my camps here. 
guess it's sharing the enemy jungler's camp still. I get more XP from it since I bought jungle item. I can't kill him, I don't think. It's just not worth. I'm not going to be able to kill him. If he has flash or barrier or both, I, I won't be able to kill him. Victor is such an OP champ, man. He's so broken right now. He's been one of the highest rate champions for the past two months. Ridiculously strong. Give me those blobs, baby. You can get a mesh once you have 10 Dark Seal stacks. If you're the type of player who finds yourself dying a lot or you can never keep your mesh up, don't bother because it's a big investment to get it for me i'm gonna do it because i'm pretty good at staying alive once i buy it i'm also very tanky to where it's not gonna be easy for them to kill me even if i am a little out of position like here i'm a little out of position i have flash though and i have teemo shroom right here keeping me safe i also saw there's a few of them up top side there he goes mid fjord's over here she just Insane damage. I'm gonna go for the Seraphine. Blue Smiter. She died. If yours trying to pick me down, I'm way too tanky for that. Flash into him, auto attack. He's a goner. Get that burst from Frostfire Gauntlet on your autos. It's on like a 10 second cooldown or a 4 second cooldown. I think it's like 4 seconds. Got him with the Q. I'll sit here and tank turret for my team. Doesn't matter. Very nice. That should be GG's. There's no way a rational person... or There's no way, even if they were all professional... Like a professional team, they could come back. Our comp's just better. There's a lot less skill expression in the late game, since it's mostly 5-band A-ramming, than there is in the early mid game. Like... The real skill expression is in laning phase and pre-5 versus 5 ARAM. Because of the CSing, watching the minimap, neither of those really apply in the 5 versus 5 ARAM mode right now. <laughs> there's, there's many different aspects of League you have to juggle, uh, juggle in real time that just you don't have to really think about in the late game. Only difference is if Fiora could outsplit push team mode, she really can't since he can solo her. Because he's ahead, then that can make it hard for us. Because we'd have to send two people to stop her, and then if we can never kill her type of thing. While at the same time, Lux and Victor have a lot of wave clear. So it'd be difficult for them to shove down base without Baron buff. So like, even if Fiora was fed, this game wouldn't be easy for them. One of the biggest issues, I think Viego is a bad champ pick. Fiora's a hyper carry, Zerath is a carry, Ezreal's a carry. They needed a tank or more of a support style top laner because basically they all picked Genji except for the Seraphine. Not everyone can be Genji, you know? You don't want five Doomfists on your team, right? You want some Reinhardt abuser, Diva abuser, get a, what, that shield girl that they added that room in the game, get one of her in there. She counters everything. <laughs> I used to love playing Overwatch. I, I played a lot of it at one point. It was my main game, actually. I was swapping off a League for a little bit. For a couple of months, I was playing way more Overwatch than I was playing a League, but uh, certain things about it bothered me. When, if people, if I thought they were cheating or if they were just way too good at Widowmaker to where they were, seemed like they are always landing headshots, that was very troublesome to me. Plus, I was playing mainly before they had role select to where... A lot of the times I was going mercy. I was a god to your mercy. And um, I would I would be playing support. This was pre-roll select, and no one else on my team would play the other shit. Like I was the only support. People didn't want to play tank, and everyone's just playing damage dealers. And it was so frustrating that I just, I just had to quit the game. It was bad for me, for my mental health. And then they did add roll select. I came back for a bit, but the queue times were really high. I was waiting in rank usually 15 to 30 minutes per game because of my elo. I was basically around diamond on overwatch. And just even as a, a lowly diamond, I was waiting like 15 to 30 minutes per game. It's insane. It's a shame, it's such a fun game. Played it with my brothers and everything. 
Blue smited, walk into her, hit her with Q at point blank range. She's a goner. Ezreal, you're gonna die, big boy. And that is how you play Zach Jungle for Season 12 League of Legends, guys. Super strong pick. Focus on good jungle pathing and avoid soloing people at all points in the game until you are level 6 or unless you're fed. If you enjoyed this Zach Jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we were still one of the higher ups. We had placed the fourth highest damage in the game. I'm happy with that, considering how fed we were compared to our teammates. Looking at runes, our aftershock did 620 damage and it mitigated nearly a thousand. Final of Life healed our teammates for 500. Conditioning percent of game it was active for the majority. It's giving us 22 bonus armor, 13 bonus magic resist. It healed us for 3,500 and bonus shielding. I mean, 118, that's nothing. It's just because the luck shield here and there. Triumph gave us back 2,500 health. 520 gold and we finished tenacity around the 12 minute mark which is pretty standard for tank junglers